guys, we're back on our quest to make a simple homemade rope making machine, one that you can just use a simple cordless power drill to make rope all by yourself at home. Now in my last video I showed you how to build this unit. This is a hook spinner that uses a little piece from a bicycle inner tube to spin these pulleys that we made and spin all three hooks at the same time. The purpose of this project today is to build out the rest of the system to automate it so one person by themselves can make rope with a simple press of a button. It's time to chop some wood. So update guys, we just chopped up a bunch of different pieces of wood here. I've got these things cut to eight and a half inches long and I got a piece of board here cut six inches tall and here's why. Normally when you're making rope, you'll have lengths of string running out from these hooks and another person with some kind of mechanism on the end holding onto it. But if we take these pieces of wood and pinch them in between these two by twos, we can screw that nice and tight together, clamp it down to the table and that right there will hold the end of the string for us. So let's rig it up, run a little string and see if it works. Feels like I'm riding some crazy space motorcycle. All right, so update guys, I just cut some wood and I put this little device together. All this is is a six inch piece of common board as well as eight and a half inches of our two by twos on the bottom to secure it as a base. The idea is that as you're running sisal from our little hook spinner, we're gonna need something to hold it at the other end. If we clamp this down to the table, we can loop it over this hook and that should hold it securely in place. But there are a few other factors that'll come into play that'll cause us a problem. I'll show you what I mean. So I've just taken our sisal and you can see I've strung it through all the different loops, starting with the one at the back and then around each of the hooks and back to the hook at the back. Now after doing this six times, we've got six different cords on three different hooks. Now the idea is that as each hook begins to spin, the two cords attached to it will intertwine with each other and then eventually all three of those cords will mesh together to make a nice three-stranded rope. But the problem with this setup is sisal is extremely fibrous and so as those strands begin turning, you can see they bind and cling up to each other. And this is where you'd normally need another three to five people to stand there and hold the ropes apart and keep them from latching onto each other. The other thing that we notice is as the strands are twisted, it creates quite a bit of tension on the backboard. And if nothing is done about it, either the backboard is going to snap right off or the strands are going to break. So the two challenges we face is how do we relieve tension on the strands as they're being wound and how do we prevent the strands from binding on each other? This is the solution I have for you. I've cut two small blocks. These are three inches tall and six inches wide. This came from the same common board we built this entire system from. To alleviate the tension, I'm gonna drill a hole through the backboard and tie it to a counterweight that pulls a little bit of tension, but allows it to rise up as the cord is pulled. This will be attached to a couple of swivel hooks that will allow the rope to spin freely as it needs to. And this last block will make into something called a rope maker's top. It'll help guide those strands into the beautiful three-stranded cord you might expect to see. So update guys, here we are, we've done a lot of work today, we've rigged up the system and it's all clamped to the bench. The question now is, will it all work? We have a hook spinning system that's powered by a cordless drill. On the back end we have a support board that accommodates a counterweight system that hooks up to a set of double swivel hooks. We've added two ropes between the spinner mechanism and the backboard and that's to accommodate this automated rope making top. The idea is that as the tension builds it will glide forward and guide the individual strands into place to form a three-stranded rope. So will this contraption work as advertised? Will it glide as seamlessly as we hope? We're gonna find out in the next video because in the next project, we are making rope. Thanks for joining me for this project, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Oh, shoot. Apparently that was too big of a drill bit. Whoops. <laughs>